Hey, let's paint a pretty picture. First, I'm grabbing the 8x10 watercolor paper in the most chaotic way I can. As I do most things, uh, I lay it on the little book on my table and then I grab my paint palette. I don't use this one a lot, but I have been because I just have. So please, no further questions. I, I have no answers. I also, okay, so here's the vision. I did already two little ones of this, five by sevens, and I wanted to do like a field of flowers. So the background is a fun, just wash of green and black. I just, if there's ever a chance to use watercolor, I'm taking it and I'm having fun. I just love it so much for, especially for backgrounds. And cause I could just, I'm just having the time of my life over there. Look at me. I am doing it like different. I used some lighter green. I was mixing in black a lot to get that darker, that darker green, but this is the base. But I, I don't think I finished what I was talking about. I have wanted to do a field of flowers, wild flowers, some may say, where it's all just dense with everything you know like just like little doo -doo 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 flowers everywhere and I saw this picture on Pinterest of actual flowers an actual flower field and so I kind of was looking at that for the first one but of course I wasn't really doing that I was just uh looking at it for vibes and then I said okay got it thank you for those vibes you just gave me now let me paint this picture. I'm always inspired by real flowers and especially bouquets and I like to see the colors and like I said the vibes and I take those with me and I run away. And I say thank you so much see you later. Okay but also the little things they add in like with the bouquets like the little there's just so many things that sometimes I wouldn't think of and then I'm like okay like sometimes if I'm I mean I have my set flowers that I always do but I love to go through my board of floral inspiration is what it's called on Pinterest. And I just scroll and I say, cause if, and if I want to do something, that's usually I find a picture that inspires me and I do my thing, but then add in little things that I see. So I, I could also just look at flowers. I mean, pictures of flowers all day. I really could. Here I am adding some little yellow flowers. What a classic. I love them. They're so pretty. They're so wild. And they are so free. Um, this is also... The background obviously has dried since a second ago. But I also left the top open a little bitty bit. And I keep forgetting. After I did this, I think already on this one, I was like, let me leave a little bit on the top as if it's this guy or something. I don't know. And... And then I get ahead of I get ahead of myself. I'm just having too much fun, just blah 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 all over with my watercolor on the background. And then I forget. I'm like, dang it! So I only had this little bitty, <laughs> this little bitty part left. But I really like it actually. And then I was doing one after this, and I did the same thing, and I totally forgot. And I was like, wow, I really black out when I'm doing this. Like I'm just like having so much fun that I don't even, I can't even think. Also, I always feel like I have to let you know that I am aware of the weird angles of the camera and you are looking at it upside down. But just imagine you're perched upon my desk right in, right there where you are right now and you're just watching like a little bird. Um, <laughs> or don't because that's weird. But I, I, I don't have room. First of all, in this little paint room of a closet. And I also, sometimes I try to bring my giant tripod and put it over my shoulder so it's a better angle. But but you know what? It's sometimes just too much work. And I say, you know what? Who cares? Not me. Not you. Uh, so I just have this little tripod that is set on the table. But I don't have much room on the table either because I am messy. But also I, I have all my art supplies on the back wall. So I can't move it that far, and I also, do 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 do, -do, -do. All right. Also, after I was doing these, uh, I'm doing flowers, by the way. Outlined flowers. Cool, great. Moving on. I want to do some more backgrounds with some splotchy, 
even darker green parts because I go back with a black and really dark green oil pastel and I shade in different parts uh but I think it'd be even more fun but that doesn't matter moving on I am outlining these over and over and over and I decided to do the dark that well I do brown and then black over it for the center and I just thought that'd be fun because I did it with those other ones so why not continue okay let's continue the tradition that I've established in this painting y'all why is this voiceover kind of good like like who am I I'm getting points across. We're being silly goofy, but not too silly goofy. We have a, we're, we're, I'm actually talking about what I'm doing. I'm actually talking about the art. This is crazy, honestly. Uh, maybe I'm ruining it right now, but that's okay. I am sticking with my classic colors, okay? Because sometimes I don't want to think of new ones. And these work together so well. I also, oil pastels, oh my gosh. I recently got a new organizer for my oil, oil pastels. And you may be like, it doesn't look like it. I see them in a pile over there. Yeah, well, they're the ones I'm working on right now. So I gather them all together, working with right now. So I gather them all together, put them in a pile. And, um, but the others, I got these little slide out drawers. And they just have their own little spots. And I can just slide the drawer out. Uh, and it's great. I, yeah, it's what I wanted. I, because I ended up, I just, when, when art supplies, because the color pencils did this too, they come in their own box. Sure, it's a nice little box. Okay. It's nice. They each have their little spots, but I have to, I have to pull that thing out every single time. And then and then I ended up getting, and then I have to put them back every time I use all the colors individually in the little spots. No, no thanks. I don't. And so then they're all like, I'm like, wait, where'd that one go? Oh, it's over there. Dang it. And then also I got a new box of oil pastels. So then I was like, okay, I have to look out two boxes every time I want to do oil pastels. I'm not doing that. No, thank you. So I combined all the oil pastels I have because I also had some random white ones that I had gotten because I needed more white oil pastels. Uh, and so, 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 yeah, now they're just organized by color and they're all together. And I just slide out the little drawer and now I even know where each color is. Oh, there are the greens. Let me get my green. It's so nice. And here I am. Look, we've added. Also, I did color pencil for the original stems and leaves that I did. I didn't do that on the first one. I just tried that here and I like it. Uh, and then I'm going back in with oil pastels. Oh, look, we're back with a color pencil. It's a lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. <laughs> and as you can see, it is coming together. You're like, okay, I see your vision a little bit. Do you see the vision? Okay, here we go. Adding little bitty uh, blobs. I kind of think of them as hydrangea clusters. Uh, that's... That's, that's what I like to think. Um, and I just go back and add different colors. And I'm also, I'm using the same colors as I did in that bluish purple flower over there. But I'm starting with the main light blue. It's very pretty. And that way, I'm just wanting to add just a bunch of different shapes of flower blobs. Uh... So these are my round ones. I just want everything to be full and dense. As I said, this is a field. Perhaps it could be a forest of flowers. No, I call it, it the print of it. I already made a print of this one. It's called Wildflower Fields. Well, the first one is called Wildflower Fields. This one is called uh, Wildflower Fields. Nope, it's not. Wildflower Field Florals. Number two. Because I plan on making more of these and sometimes I can't think of, I can't think of names and they're too similar to think of different names, but they're, but they're different enough that if you bought multiple in the same wildflower field genre, they'd be pretty together. But also maybe you want that one and not that one. Whereas I'm just, so I could just list one of them, but I said, I love both of them. And I'm adding both of them. And I plan to add more. And 
I had this conversation before. Everything of mine is the same, but slightly different. Different vibes, different things within the same genre. <laughs> and that's okay. And oh look, I'm doing something different. I'm adding little black centers into the little teeny tiny flowers. And I'm just, this is another shape. So I did that little teeny tiny blob shape as if they're little flower buds. And then I'm doing these little slightly bigger, but still teeny tiny, just your, your average flower shape. And then I go back and add more, but we're not there yet. Okay. I am adding, am I adding? Yeah. I'm kind of defining the leaves a little bit with the black because they do get lost a little bit, but we go back and fix that. Again, I said back and forth with the different colors. We work it out. That's why I think if I do even a darker green than what I'm using and then do like a lighter green stems and stuff. But, oh look, I'm adding little blue flowers. Oh, I added little coral ones too. Also, I always update on what I've been watching or listening to while creating whatever I'm creating. And lately, so I was rewatching Veronica Mars and for like the fifth time. Unfortunately, that ran out. I also watched the movie, which I haven't seen. I have only seen it once, I think. And I totally forgot. So I rewatched that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I refused to watch the other new, was it a new season or just like a, a new Veronica Mars show that was like the most recent thing where... I won't say what I think, okay, spoiler, possibly, ahead, doesn't Logan die? Doesn't he? I vaguely remember that, and then I literally ran away from the show and never looked back. So I don't even know if that's true, but it's what I thought, and I will, I will not be watching that. But now, I'm not even getting to what I'm watching now. Revenge. Also, look at, the dogs were just staring at me from the top of the stairs, so I took them outside right right after that, but I just thought it was funny. Anyways, I'm watching Revenge. Have you ever seen it? Uh, I th I'm pretty sure the main characters are married, which after I discovered that, I was like, no way. Uh, but I've also, I like to rewatch it in the summer because it's just like rich people at the beach doing crazy things, and I love it. It's just, a, it's a nice one to have in the background while you're doing things and it helps me focus. Oh, look, I'm adding some taller um, yellow blobs. I think they're still married too. Emily, oh my gosh, her name, real name is Emily. Emily Van Camp and Daniel Grayson. I don't, I don't know what his name is. I don't, I don't need to know. Josh Bowman, okay, cool, great. Um, her name in the show is Emily, except it's not. It's Amanda. Her fake name is Emily. Her, <laughs> the, the mom's acting, what is her name? Victoria Grayson, Madeline Stowe. She holds that show together. Let me tell you. Everyone, I'm like, y'all's acting is a little cringe. Hers, I fully believe that she is evil. Um, and who she is, like, she scares me. Oh, look, we're done. Oh, wow, look at her. She's so pretty. There's so many things happening. Oh, I love it. Look at it. Here she is in the sunshine, except it's not. It's gloomy and rainy. It wasn't raining in this moment. No worries. I just wanted to get the trees in the background because it's the vibe. Okay, I love you so much. I'll see you later. Goodbye.